Welcome back to Black Metal Promotion. Today's video features a history of the Swedish black metal band Dark Funeral. If you're new to this channel, you should subscribe, and now let's begin. Dark Funeral is a Swedish black metal band from Stockholm, founded by guitarists Black Moon and Lord Araman in 1993. They emerged during second wave of black metal their lyrical themes are heavily related to Satanism and anti-Christianity. Certain past and present members including Black Moon, Araman, Caligula, and Chikmol have each declared an affinity for Satanism, with Araman and Caligula notably being practitioners of Lave and Satanism. In their earlier years, their lyrical themes mainly focused on Hell and Satan. After Emperor Magus Caligula joined the band, their lyrics came to focus more on blasphemy and anti-Christianity Hitoric, although there have been several exceptions to this. The band has released six full-length albums, from 1993 to 2022 and became one of the most noticeable acts on the Swedish black metal scene. In 1995, Dark Funeral signed with No Fashion Records, subsequently composing songs in anticipation for their debut full-length album. Initially, the band recorded several tracks that would appear on The Secrets of the Black Arts at said Unisound Studio with Swano as producer, but opted to re-record the album with Peter Taggren of Hypocrisy fame at the Abyss Studio, composing a further track, When Angels Forever Die, and incorporating a cover of Vaughn's Satanic Blood, for their debut album. Concerning the band's decision to re-record their debut album, within a 2009 interview with Rights of the Black Moon webzine, Black Moon elaborated that the initial recordings at Unisound Studio suffered from a sonic flatness, partly due to Swano's exhaustion and to the quality of new recording gear that Swano had recently acquired. Shortly after recording their album at the Abyss, Dark Funeral played their first festival gig, under the Black Sun Eye, in Berlin. A few weeks prior to this gig Emperor Magus Caligula, Magnus Masse Broberg, the original vocalist of Hypocrisy, replaced them Garot, becoming a permanent member during the summer of 1995. Concerning the factors underlying Thumgaroda's departure, Black Moon elucidated that Thumgarot was unable to fulfill the quality the band expected within their live performance. On January 28, 1996, The Secrets of the Black Arts was released, with the album thence being licensed to Metal Blade in North America and Mystic Productions in Poland. Equimant Horn was soon replaced by Altsasman, later renowned for his work with Dissection and Gorgorot. The lineup of Emperor Magus Caligula, Lord Araman, Altsasman, and Black Moon recorded their versions of Bathory's Call from the Grave and Equimant Horn for the Bathory tribute in Conspiracy with Satan. These also appeared later remastered for the retitled re release of the band's debut in The Sun. Black Moon departed Dark Funeral at the end of 1996 citing a conflict with Lord Araman as the primary instigator for his decision to depart. Together with Necromus, the band then embarked on the Satanic War Tour I throughout Europe. The second leg of the Satanic War Tour followed with Ancient and B.A.L. Sagath as support. Dark Funeral played their first show in America at the Expo of the Extreme Festival in Chicago. From there, the band embarked on the American Satanic Crusade Tour with Usurper in support. Originally, the tour was supposed to also feature Akiran and Destroyer 666, but both bands cancelled. In September, the band returned to the Abyss studio to record Vabiscum Satanas. The Ineffable Kings of Darkness tour with Enthroned and Liar of Golgotha took place with Dominion joining the band as a session bass player. The band also made their second major festival appearance at the Swedish Hults Freds Festival. After the festival, Typhos was fired and Dominion, who originally was a guitarist, was taken on as the band's second guitarist, and Caligula reverted to doing both vocals and bass. Before the band headed out on the Bleed for Satan tour with Cannibal Corpse and Infernal Majesty, Altsasman left, and the band's longtime friend Gon Faust, who was also in the band back in 1996 for a short time, was recruited. The band returned overseas for another mini tour. Black Plague across the West, when they played in Mexico for the first time before they headed to the US and the state of California. Afterwards, they also embarked on their longest and most successful European tour, the Satanic Inquisition, 
together with Demu Borger. With engineer Tommy Taggren, the band recorded the EP Teach Children to Worship Satan at the Abyss Studio B, featuring the new song An Apprentice of Satan and cover versions of Slayer, Mayhem, Sodom, and King Diamond. For the EP, the band also filmed a live video for An Apprentice of Satan. They joined Deicide, Immortal, and Cannibal Corpse for the No Mercy festivals. After the departure of Gon Faust, Matt Modin, Defleshed, joined the band as a permanent member and made his debut at the With Full Force Festival. In January slash February, the band again entered the Abyss Studio, enlisting the help of producer Peter Taggren and studio technician Lars Zok, to record their third full-length album, Diabolis Interium. Due to the overwhelming positive response to the new album from both the public and the press, the band was able to secure deals that brought their music across to a much wider audience, with licenses in Japan, Soundholic Co. Ltd., Brazil, Hellion Records, Poland, Mystic Productions, Romania, Rekris Disc, Bulgaria, Rekris Disc, Thailand, S. Stack Co. Ltd., Russia, Ironed Records Ltd., Taiwan, Hong Kong, and China, Magnus Music. With the exceptional response to the album in Brazil, which was released through Hellion Records, another local label, Samba Records licensed the band's entire back catalogue. As soon as Diabolis Interim was released, Dark Funeral once again went on tour. First they toured Europe, supported by Tidfall, Anorexia Nervosa and Ragnarok. On this tour, the band brought in Mikhail Hedlund, Hypocrisy, to play the bass. After this tour, Mikhail resumed duties with his main band. They recruited Richard Cabeza for the session bassist slot. The band also toured the US, supporting their longtime friends Cannibal Corpse. With Diabolis Interim, the Swedish radio station Rocket 95.3 FM nominated Dark Funeral in the category Best Swedish Hard Rock Band. Other bands nominated at the same time and in the same category were Breach, Entombed, and Arise. In October 2002, the band embarked on their first tour in the Far East, which included shows in Japan, Taiwan, and Singapore. The band was the first Western extreme metal band to play Taiwan and Singapore. On November 29, 2002, the band and MNW slash No Fashion Records announced that they were no longer contractually bound to Necropolis Records, who had licensed the band's 2001 release Diabolis Interim for North America. Official termination of contract papers had already been delivered to Necropolis Records, putting an official end to Dark Funeral's tenure with said record label. This was a result of Necropolis' alleged breach of contract with the band and label. After the Asian tour, guitarist Dominion felt it was in the best interests of both the band and himself to resign his position, due to commitment to studies. Dominion officially resigned upon the band's completion of their Asian tour. He would later explore other musical options. After this the band began auditioning guitarists to replace the departed Dominion. A new guitarist was found in the form of Chick Mole, who had a long history in different local metal acts. He is also in the two-man doom slash black metal project Mordi Christ. He made his official debut with the band at Wacken Open Air 2003. After a successful gig at the Wacken Open Air Festival in Germany, the band headed down to South America for a tour through Brazil, Chile, and Colombia. This tour became one of the most successful ever undertaken by the band. During the tour, the band recorded a couple of the shows with plans to release a live album. After sifting through the recorded material with their live sound engineer, Eric Lidbaum, Hitfire Productions, De Profundis Clamavi at T.E. Domini was born. Dark Funeral officially announced their split from MNW slash No Fashion Records, after the band did not receive royalties for their back catalog. A series of legal battles began, where Ahriman and Caligula sought the rights to Dark Funeral's back catalog shortly after, the band signed a license deal with Regain Records for their live album De Profundis Clamavi at T.E. Domini, which was licensed to several other countries. On May 31, 2005, the album was released in the U.S. through Candlelight Records. In January 2004, 
the band partnered with Godhor and Zaglan in Japan on the Extreme The Dojo Vol. 9. Shortly after, the band continued to tour with a spate of Mexican dates. The band made appearances at festivals including Spanish Piorno Rock, with Sepultura, Saxon, Destruction, Lacuna Coil, among others, Finnish Tuska Open Air Metal Festival, and X Mass Festivals. The band appeared as the headlining act at Germany's Party San, Swedish Nordic Rage, and LA's Gathering of the Bestial Legions Festival. The band also played in Italy together with Defleshed for a short, but extremely successful burst of dates. In December 2004, Dark Funeral resumed touring by first playing Israel, and then hitting Russia and Ukraine for the Black Winter Days tour, together with Horned Necro Cannibals and Icewind Blast. On January 20, 2005, they signed a new record deal with Regain Records. The band concentrated on writing material for a new full-length album, yet still managed to perform at the Metal Mind Festival in Poland, before finally joining the No Mercy tour with Six Feet Under, Nile and Dying Fetus, among others. On August 18, Dark Funeral's next album, A Terror Tota Sanctus, was completed. It entered the Swedish Top 40 at number 35. In November, Dark Funeral began working with Dragon Production, a division of ASS. Concert and Promotion GmbH. Dragon Production were entrusted with handling the band's tour bookings. In autumn 2006, Dark Funeral performed on a tour in South America. On October 8, 2006, at a concert in Lima, Peru, they were forced to perform without their vocalist and bassist, Caligula, due to illness. Many angry fans started a riot and vandalized the properties near the venue. Following the riot, all the band's instruments were confiscated by Peruvian police. After a week, the band announced they had to postpone their upcoming concerts in Latvia and Lithuania because of this unfortunate situation. In early 2007, Dark Funeral toured North America with Enslaved. In April 2007, the band had planned an Eastern European tour to Russia, Ukraine, and the Baltic states. It was around this time that Matt Modin had allegedly concocted false stories in order to avoid playing with the band. He first alleged that he had an infection in his arm, and could not participate on the Eastern European tour. However, it emerged that he had chosen to tour with the punk band Raised Fist instead. After returning from the Metal Fairy show in Sweden in between, Matt announced to the rest of the band that he could not go to the Baltic states, as it was his son's birthday. Dark Funeral soon realized Matt Modin's motives. Consequently, the upcoming tour was cancelled, and Matt Modin was ejected from the band. In June 2007, the band announced Nils Fjellström, alias Dominator, also in Ian and Sanctification, among others, as their new drummer. The band had a special appearance playing live on the pornographic film Club Satan, The Witch's Sabbath, which they also contributed their song King Antichrist for the film. The band toured North America again in autumn 2007, and reissued their first three albums, each with a bonus disc of material. In the autumn seasons of 2007 and 2008, the band released Atera Orbis Ter Aram, Part I and Atera Orbis Ter Aram, Part II respectively. On October 24, 2008, it was announced that the Supreme Court of Sweden had ruled in favor of Dark Funeral in the dispute with MNW or No Fashion Records. After several shows promoting the album, Dark Funeral released their fifth studio album in 2009, Angelus Exuro Pro Eternus. They also shot a controversial music video for My Funeral. The latter half of 2010 saw the band consisting of only Araman and Chikmol on guitars, following the departure of Emperor Magus Caligula in July 2010, and B-Force and Dominator in the coming months. Caligula's was arguably the most significant, after being in Dark Funeral for 15 years as vocalist and lyricist, he had spent the longest time in the band, aside from Araman. It was announced Caligula was to be married and that he sought to settle down in his new life. Beforce left the band of his own volition. Araman used this time to work on new material, 
in the absence of a full lineup for live performances and studio recording. On June 30, 2011, Dark Funeral announced that Nakt Garm of Negator is the new vocalist. A week prior it had also been announced that Dominator returned to the band. On July 27, 2011, Zornheim was revealed to be the band's new bassist, completing the lineup. In late 2012, Dark Funeral parted ways with Nakt Garm, who returned to Negator. Zornheim exited the band in 2014. On December 16, 2014, Dark Funeral released a new track and music video entitled Nail Them to the Cross. The video revealed a new vocalist, Hal Jarmidra, GRA, Domgard, Curse 13, and bassist Nat, Angrep, Withershin, to the group's ranks, although by the time the band started recording in February 2016 for their sixth album Where Shadows Forever Reign which was released on June 3 by Century Media, Nat was no longer in the group, having Lord Ahriman record the bass for the album. In 2016 Gustav Hilm who played session bass on Atera Tota Sanctus enrolled again as a session bass player, this time for live concerts. In November 2017 it was announced that drummer Dominator has left the band and was replaced by Jalamat. In May 2021, the band reported they were entering the studio to record their seventh studio album. The band completed recording the album in September of 2021. In a Facebook post from November 2021, the band stated their seventh studio album will be entitled We Are the Apocalypse and released in March 18, 2022. For black metal new videos, click the bell icon and like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching Hail Dark Funeral.